The National Board of Directors wants NCMA to be a welcoming place for all on their career journeys. As the Professional Society and Association for Contract Management and Acquisition-Related Functions, we know the importance of belonging. With a view across NCMA, the DE&I Council was stood up to provide recommendations and take on special projects toward accomplishing our objective. Recommendations are based on a study of member perspectives and focus on our beliefs in the power of diversity and its power in the missions we serve. The Council's diverse views as volunteer leaders represent the National Board, Chapters, Standards and Certification Oversight Functions, Board of Advisors, Council of Fellows, CMLDP, and members at large. The DEI Council work is ongoing and their recommendations are grouped in three key areas community, governance, and practice. You can see their recommendations and other resources on the NCMA site. Last year, we engaged Dr. Tana Session to review our governance and uncover member perspectives on NCMA as a welcoming association. Her work uncovered three key findings, the lack of transparency in our leadership selection process and lack of communications on shared objectives are barriers to leadership opportunities and limit understanding of how members feel they are included in NCMA leadership. Though our leadership selection process does consider the widest possible definition of diversity, it was not widely shared. To work toward greater transparency and governance, the Nominations and Elections Committee now shares its matrix of needed skills and the diversity dimensions they seek for board leadership. This committee also shares their selection matrix in various forms, including contract management magazine articles, with the latest version shared in the resources section of our diversity page. A welcoming community needs to welcome all, and we learned that Asian and African American members on average don't believe our culture will encourage and support new DE&I and belonging initiatives. This means we must demonstrate that the wonderful people in our community who define our culture agree a shared vision on what this means to all members. The Council's recommendations on this encourages awareness and dialogue as part of volunteer leadership development programs. We hold these types of programs at all national events and now include discussion at each. Dr. Session's findings alerted us to a perception gap between generations, with younger generations placing greater importance on diversity. This gap was most pronounced in views on equity, our recognition that people on their career journeys might need different things from our community. This is important insight, as the health of our community relies on all in the community, while our future relies on the younger generation and those not yet in our profession. Like the other initiatives, we will work toward a common understanding through transparency, volunteer leadership development, and respectful dialogue. On behalf of our association, I ask your commitment to welcome all in their journeys. Be open and consider what each of us does officially or unofficially in our volunteer community, and recognize that creating a sense of belonging positively impacts us all.